All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So let's talk about my car today, but which car? We're gonna take the BMW, the BMW, of course not. We're gonna take the Dodge, because I like the Dodge more than both of those things. All right, so I had a few people mention on my comments on my last video with my daughter, asked me whether I still had my Dodge or not. So it's a ridiculous question, considering that I'll never get rid of this thing. But before we get started, let's go ahead and do this. And that's why I'm never getting rid of this thing. So today, I want to talk about the reliability of my Dodge. I've had a lot of people ask this question before we jump in to there. Let me show you that. that is 7 series six months to go actually about five and a half months to go before it's gone and I'll replace that with something amazing I don't know what or I'll just keep the Dodge and be happy not really so let's go ahead and first get this thing washed and don't give me crap about washing it at the car wash I know that for some people that is just you're not a real car person if that's what you do um, But they hand wash it for me. They're amazing and I get to do work and watch YouTube while they're cleaning it so I Wash this thing all the time myself and by washing it all the time. I mean, I, I never I never wash this myself So anyways, let's get started with the video Wait, before I forget, I've got to give you an update on the window tint ticket. If you watched that video, you were able to see me, in rare form, groveling trying to get out of that ticket from the San Diego Police Department. Um, not a proud moment of mine, but after the drama I've gone through this last month now, getting this solved, just extra time and energy and money that could have been prevented had I maybe not done limo tint. But, um, it was worth a shot and it looked really good while it lasted so here's the update didn't go into the system for close to a month my court date was coming up I got no uh, notice in the mail to tell me what to do I called the gal at the courthouse said it's not in the system can't tell you anything so just wait it could take a year for him he's got a year before he has to turn it in or he maybe he decided not to give it to you so just hang around and wait so about that time I'm thinking well I just wasted a bunch of time I had my window tent taken off I went and had the ticket signed off and then I went and had the window tent put back on now before you think I'm a horrible person let me tell you I spoke to several police officers and here's what they said they said look it's a it's a kind of a crappy ticket. We're not out looking to pull people over for tinted windows, especially in California. But when you have limo tint on your side windows and we can't see through them in broad daylight, we have to pull you over. I mean, there's almost no discretion there. You're just asking for it. We're, we're gonna pull you over and you're probably gonna get a ticket. And if you got off three or four times, that's pure luck, but that's just too dark. We have to draw the line somewhere. But if it's a pretty relatively normal shade, they're not gonna mess with you. I mean, that's what I was told. Even when I had the ticket signed off, they said, you know, honestly, just don't go so dark. I mean, I get the car doesn't look good without it, so don't go so dark. So I went a shade down. I don't know what the percentage is. I mean, I, all I said is go the next shade. And they did, and it looks great. Then I get the notice, finally get the notice, notification that the ticket's in the system, and it says all I had to do was pay $200 and I wouldn't have to do anything. In the end, it's all meant to be probably better. I was getting tired of spending all that time on the side of the road, um, having you know cops jack me up constantly, so I'm good. And it looks still looks good, so check it out. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm impressed with it. I liked it before a lot more because it was so menacing looking, but to get pulled over all the time and be doing the dance with the police officers was making for good YouTube content, but a lot of time wasted and a lot of drama that I didn't need. So, and check this out, got a mod coming. First one where I'm going to get a little, little bold and drill some holes in the spoiler with the Downforce Solutions wicker bill. Um, I may chicken out, but I bought it anyway, so stay tuned when I get that. It says six weeks, I'll um, 
video me destroying my car. Hopefully not. Anyway, so comment below. What do you think? I think the window tint looks just fine. And it's still dark enough, but I have not been pulled over once. I've been parked right next to police cars. Cops everywhere behind me, next to me, and no one messed with me. So I think I'm good. I'll just leave it like this. Anyways, so that's the window tent saga finally behind me. Let's move on with the video. Come on! What the hell, Dad? They're cool with it, right, guys? You can do it. They said it's okay. Yeah, they said it's totally cool. <laughs> yeah! talk about reliability. I've had a lot of comments asking about the reliability of this car and I haven't made a video about that because it wouldn't be very exciting and I can tell you, get the air conditioning on here, I can tell you that it's still probably not going to be that exciting but I'll give you kind of a comparison based on my life experience with cars. I've owned, you can you just almost name anything, I've probably had it only thing I haven't had is a real true supercar, but I had a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 2 that was awesome and that thing never broke down. I had a Hummer H1 uh, convertible and I had a Hummer H1 wagon and both those cars lasted probably about, I don't know, four months before they both ended up in the shop with catastrophic issues. Um, one of them, the engine blew when the turbo went out and destroyed the motor, and that was amazingly only $14,000 to replace that. My other Hummer, it was a starter and a bunch of other things, but the, one of the biggest surprises with that thing that I didn't expect was the uh, $4,000 for tires, um, but I guess that's what you get when you drive a military vehicle. I had an H2, that thing was in the shop pretty regularly leaky windows, I mean, you, you name it, suspension issues, I had all kinds of problems with that. Um, I had a brand new Range Rover, at the time it was almost $85,000, and the tranny went out 4,000 miles in. I had a brand new, actually it was like a demo, so it had like 1,800 miles on it when I got it, Mercedes-Benz CL55 AMG, it was a 2004, 2005, Jeez, it's been a while. Anyways, that car I had literally for about two months, and the hilarious thing with that car is it was 500 horsepower, it was a screamer, it was so fast. It was the fastest car I'd ever been in at the time. And one day I pull up to a stoplight and there's this Dodge Neon with a huge, huge spoiler, a big whale tail sticking out of the back and the Fast and the Furious stripes on it. And the kid pulls up and he revs his engine and the loud exhaust is just popping and I'm looking at him like dude seriously I'm going to like embarrass you and destroy you at this light the light changed we both jumped on it my car took off and immediately just went sluggish and started just kind of hopping and I had to pull over and I couldn't get the car to go more than you know 35 miles an hour and it was just acting really strange so I got it to the dealership and that was the supercharger. Supercharger went out. That was $10,500. Thank goodness it was under warranty, but what a pain in the neck it was. And to this day, I'm still looking for that Dodge Neon because he went and tell, told all his friends that he just smoked a $126,000 Mercedes Benz. No, I'm not out there racing all the time, but you know, look, let's be real. I mean, Dodge Neon wants to dance, then. You've got a brand new $100,000 car, you're gonna give him a, a show, and he got a show instead. Out, out of all those cars, I can think, I can go on and on. I mean, my BMW 7 Series, that car ended up in the shop. 
less than a year in for over a month and they they told me what it was but it was some strange hard to understand issue that kept making warning lights come on on the dash and that after a month they finally figured it out after returning returning it to me one time then I had to take it back and they were so incredibly awesome that they paid the car payment for me on that car which was fifteen hundred dollars a month so I appreciate how BMW acted and treated me on that but you shouldn't have to do that you shouldn't have to take the car in the shop that often I had an s550 mercedes-benz I had two of those probably my favorite cars in the world but they do break and after you've got them for a little while it's almost a hundred percent chance that the air suspension is going to go out and you're going to spend a thousand dollars per wheel if you do it on the cheap and that's really expensive and if one goes out they still want you to do both uh, front sides um, in my AMG I had a $6,500 valve go out that controlled the suspension had the $3,000 navigation go out so I can go on and on with all the issues I've had with cars so obviously you know I buy this American car I was told you know almost my whole life that American cars were not reliable and that they would break down you can't put a lot of miles on them um, you can't drive them real hard because you know they'll they'll break but at least they'll be cheaper to fix than these German cars but the German cars you'll be able to put you know hundreds of thousands of miles on them and and you'll spend so much less in repairs that is not true okay so here's here's the deal I've had this Dodge now for a year I've got 19,150 miles on it and this car has not broken once now there's one caveat it broke once and it fixed itself and then it broke again and then probably once every couple of weeks it does this the USB plugs in the center console they just stop working for no reason and then you got to turn off the car and the next morning they'll work and it'll be another couple of weeks before that happens and other than that I've had literally zero issues with this car um, I bought tires for it I bought two back tires so if you buy one of these things just know you're gonna buy back tires before you buy front tires um, and I put the Pirelli's on there and they were five hundred and twenty one dollars at Big O Tire and uh, so that's wasn't bad at all not any more expensive than tires for any of these BMW's and Mercedes and I done the oil change twice which I think was maybe 135 bucks or something maybe 150 for this car I haven't done brakes yet that scares me with these big Brembo's on there so if anybody's done that yet let me know what you paid to get them done because I expect that's coming up any like literally any day now I'm gonna be needing brakes but that's not even a repair it's just maintenance stuff uh, but I do worry with the Brembo's because with my Mercedes in the past with the big expensive brakes you know you can end up spending a $2,500, $3,000 to do brakes on the on the car, so I don't know if that's going to be the episode I have here, but I'll deal with it. Anyways, so that's the history of the car. I mean, literally, knock on wood, and there is no wood in here, like there is the Mercedes BMW, so I can't knock on it, but I can tell you that, uh, you know, maybe after I do this video, the car is going to break, and I'll do another video and change my mind. But I'm impressed with Dodge, beyond belief. I couldn't be happier with the car. And if anybody's on the fence about buying one of these things and maintenance is your concern or repairs are your concern, I would I would not be concerned. I'd buy this car. I mean, it's got a warranty, but I haven't had to go to the dealership for anything. So that's great. It's even got this powertrain warranty that's like six years or something like that. So that's an awesome thing. So I don't have to worry about transmission or anything major. So that's it, folks, and I uh, hope this answered any of your questions, and thank you for watching the channel. Please subscribe, and I'll try to keep the content uh, more frequent. Um, sorry for the last video. If you haven't seen it, my daughter and I were just having fun, and I had to give her a shout-out on that thing, and it was something she wanted, so you know, I'll do anything for my kid. Anyways, thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. Mm-hmm.